Welcome back Race Monitor fans. Today's video we're going to talk about the results uh, within Race Monitor. So at the top of the directory you'll see the race results section. Uh, this is where you're going to go for any unofficial results that you want to look at for a particular session, event, uh, race, uh, anything along those lines. And when you go into the race results section you will see uh, four sections at the bottom center of the uh, screen there. You've got your watched races, recent races, search, and favorite. So the first section that's going to open up to is the watched races. So this is going to be the, the list of races that you've actually uh, tapped on and, and watched the event. The next section is going to be the recent races. So if you tap on recent, it's going to take you to the results for all the most recent races that have completed within the race monitor system. The third section is going to be the search field. So tapping on the search brings you into a search field where you can start typing in the uh, specifics of a race that you want to search for. So for instance, we'll type in Rotax here. And that's going to pull up all the most recent Rotax uh, results that are within the system. And last but not least is the favorite section. So any of the races or events that you've set up as a favorite race, you'll be able to see the results quickly on, on those events in this section here. So from any of these sections, you can uh, find the race that you're looking for. Uh, tap on that race and it will take you to the uh, results sections of that event. Uh, so for most events, you're going to see that there's multiple uh, classes or sessions, run groups, whatever you want to call it. So those will all be broken down based on uh, how they're classified for the race. So from here, you can sort through all the different sessions that are on track and select whichever one uh, you want to view and, and see the results of. So once you select uh, what section you want to see the, the results of, it takes you into this screen here, which is basically just like you would see on the actual live timing of the event. So this will be the uh, final results as they, they cross the line. Uh, again, these results are not official, so they do not reflect any um, adjustments that the timing crew may need to make, any penalties assessed, that kind of stuff. So in addition to following a race, you can also follow a racer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here. Um, so that if you have a specific racer that you, you want to follow and see all of their uh, results, uh, you could do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into these results here and we're going to pick a, uh, a racer that we want to follow. Much like following a race, all you have to do is long press on the racer that you want to follow and that's going to bring in a pop-up where you can select to follow that racer. So now that we've selected one of our favorite racers, uh, we can go ahead and back out to the results uh, sections and we're going to select the favorite tab at the bottom and you can see under favorite racers it has added uh, the driver we just selected to uh, our favorite racers list. So now if we tap on that racer that we've just favorited, it takes us to their results sections for all the races that they've been in uh, using that transponder number. Uh, so if you've got somebody that's using multiple transponder numbers or rented transponders, you may not see everything. Um, but if it's somebody that has their own transponder, constantly uses their own transponder number, um, then you'll be able to see pretty much all of the uh, results that, for the events that they've competed in. So if you select one of that racer's events, uh, it'll bring you in to that event where you can see each individual session, where they placed, what their best time was, um, and that kind of information. So you can get a real quick look at all of their sessions. Um, as opposed to having to go in and out of each individual session. And then if you want to see the results for the entire field for a particular session, just tap on that session and it takes you into the regular results page for that event for that session. So that's it for the results section of the Race Monitor app. Thanks for tuning in.